How we doing folks? Welcome back to the channel. Second actual day of me riding my Enduro. 29er mountain bike. First big bike I've ever had in my life. Some of you guys might remember I used to have a 27.5 inch trail style mountain bike. This is my first time having like a slack long travel Enduro uh, 29er. So in case you haven't seen it, it is a YT Industries capper uncaged. It was very expensive. I'll get into that in a minute. A lot of you guys hit me up over the last week saying, hey, this bike is like $4,000 off. I'll talk about that. I'm rocking the full face because it's actually the best way to capture footage i've learned is this chin mount so i mean it's kind of it's totally overkill for what i'm anything that i'll be doing today but if i do feel like sending it at least i'll have that a little bit confidence inspiring and yeah this has a flight attendant blah 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 i already went over everything on the bike in another video so if you guys are interested in the details i'll link that video in the first link but yeah basically i figured i would be trying to ride this bike a few more over the next couple weeks i want to get really comfortable on this 29er uh, I, you know, I've been neglecting it since I bought it. And now that I'm done doing all these branded content stuff, I can finally focus on just riding for a bit and uh, actually using the best motor that we have, which is our legs, instead of, uh, you know, a throttle. So today we're just going to be chilling out in the city. We're over here in uh, Los Angeles. We're going to try and do a little bit of urban free riding, exploring, seeing what goes on. I don't really know what to expect. I do know that you should like the video and subscribe if you are new to the channel. We have two wheel content all the time. So with that said, we're going to strap up. We're going to bomb some hills, ride down some stairs, maybe jump some stuff if we see any jumps available. Here we go. I thought my back tower is flat, but I'm just not used to riding the super low PSI that these big bikes have. It just feels so spongy. A lot of people were getting on my case because I didn't pump up my shocks, but I did. I just didn't film it. Oh, oh man. Alrighty, first real day out here on the Enduro. What if I can make it up the stairs? Easy. Dude, this bike is so sick. First off, it feels amazing to be back on an actual bike that I can jump like that again. That's just, I immediately feel like I'm home. Dude, I swear I have, am I getting a flat already? Did I just give myself a flat? I have no idea. I don't know what these tires are supposed to be pumped up to. It says 50 PSI. Pretty sure I hit it to 50. 50 is super low for me. Usually I ride like 80 on my BMX. I wonder if I could jump up this. Probably could, but I don't want to, I don't want to break this bike. I just got it. Okay, that felt good. Flight attendant unlocked right before I hit the stairs, which is awesome. Dude, this bike feels so good. Oh my God. I had to do that again just cause. Oh yeah, so a lot of people were like $10,000 bike. Well now it's like $6,000, haha. <laughs> Luckily I reached out to YT and they did honor the discount for me. So I can no longer call this a $10,000 bike, but I saved a bunch of money. So <laughs> I'm not really complaining. Also by them doing that, they pretty much cemented me as a customer. I already knew I liked their bikes cause of their dirt jumper, but now I'm like, I'm all in. I'm for sure gonna be shopping YT whenever I'm looking for uh, jump bikes from now on. Anyways, we're gonna go to the next alley. It has a very fun jump, which is right here. Playing some more camera. Oh my God, my, my butt just got caught up in the rear tire. That's never happened. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Yes, sir. Now I miss doing that. I can say that confidently. Don't forget we got brakes that work too. Yes, sir. That got me winded. Much e-bike riding got me <laughs> winded after just like two small jumps. I meant to make it to the city today. There's like some downhills, some street downhills like right here. So. I think we're just gonna do those, get my stamina back up climbing and find some more stuff to jump. Oh my God, it feels so good to be able to jump a bike again. That is literally the only thing I ever wanna do. And I can't jump that dang Suron, so it's like, I just can't, like, I don't feel, I don't feel home on it, you know? So uh, we're about to have some fun on this bike. This is my first day. The main things I need to get used to is like the turn radius, it just feels kind of wonky. Uh, I can't bar spin it, which sucks, you know, but it is what it is. Jumping feels incredible. Going down, those stairs felt incredible. So let's keep going, see what we get into. So yeah, so I'm rocking the full face, which is, you know, it's overkill, but I've been wearing a helmet with everything I ride. All I've been riding that's not an e-bike lately is my road bike. I don't ever hop on that thing without a helmet because you go so fast on roadies. I mean, I'll probably just stick to wearing this. I just love not having to wear that chest mount. That chest mount is just like a burden to my entire life. So I'd much rather rock this full face. I'm wearing a Troy Lee design stage, super light and comfy. So it's not, it's not like uh, cumbersome whatsoever. It feels really good. Anyways. Try my panties. 
Oh, we got Manny's kind of. I'm not going to... I feel a little bit of... I feel a little bit of... Like... Like the wheel wants to give out. Oh my god, we're flying. Whoa, we were cooking right there. That was a nice dog. Woo, that was fast. Going on the wrong side of the road too, very sketchy. What do we have here? I see my first little thing to jump off. See how it works. Kind of have to jump off it kind of awkwardly. It feels okay. I mean, jumping on this bike is like the dirt jumper, but even more cushy. Like, you really just feel nothing. Whoa! See, can I ride off of this? Oh, that's kind of high. I don't know if I'm ready for that. The thing about jumping off of stuff like this is, I'm still not used to how fast I need to go to not hang up the rear wheel. I'm used to smaller bikes, you know, like a 20 inch, 26. With this, I don't want to go nose first. I'm gonna go ahead and pass on that. You know what I haven't even tried to do yet? It's like 180. See these pedals the bike comes with? Are like slip and slide. Oh, my feet are slippery. Never mind, it's my, it's something I stepped in. I stepped in grease or something. I have no traction. I need to step in some dirt. It's a little better. Yeah, the pedals aren't the greatest, but it was especially slippery right there. Okay, 180s. I think I could nose pivot 180. Oh god, I think I got that. Okay, that's easy. How about an actual 180? Let's try that again, it kind of worked. Oh, there we go. I don't even know what just happened. With this for a 180, you don't jump and spin like you would. You just pop, like you just, you kind of use the suspension to spring you and then spin and then be ready for the rollout. Shifted gears twice going backwards though. Obviously it's not meant for that level of free ride, like 180 and big stuff, but it's good to know that it can do it. It's my favorite thing. Boop. It's time to go uphill, drop gears, and it's nothing. Feels like being on a road bike. <laughs> going up the curb is like, it's like it's not even there. The suspension automatically locks out, which is nice. So you don't lose any of your energy to the suspension still need to put more air in my both shocks to make it feel fully locked out when it's in the lock position it still feels a little springy so that's next nice we're just free riding around let's see where can we go next i feel 10 times safer getting wild on this thing than i do even going down the street on the suron this thing, at least I know it stops on a dime. I can easily jump off of it. And uh, I just feel like I can handle a bicycle so much better since I never really rode dirt bikes or street bikes like that. The Suron was always kind of like crazy, crazy feeling. Holy cow, I'm winded. One thing I wish that this had, which SRAM Red has, but this doesn't, you can't just hold it to switch gears all the way to the top. You have to like, you have to press it each time you want to shift up or down. Kind of troublesome. Somewhat annoying, but it is what it is. I really consider this my first actual day riding 29er. The first day I had it, I kind of just was screwing around, but I wasn't really trying to get into it like I have today. I want to find like a sick set of stairs to jump into. That would be fun. I found a setup that might be worth checking out. I don't know if this is actually doable. Okay, that is extremely far. I was thinking about jumping into the second set. That's kind of crazy. I don't think there's anywhere near ability to get enough speed to do that. I don't know. Let's try to make something happen, I guess. I was checking traffic. <laughs> don't think I just went into that street blind. I was looking. That would have been a hectic one to just send it straight into without just looking. Oh man. For the city use, obviously this flight attendant is just 
it's here, here's how I'll put it. It is useful instead of if you had like a manual way to to lock and unlock your suspension. I don't know though. I feel like if I had like a little switch like right here on my thumb, that I could just be like click and then it's locked out and then click before I'm about to jump something. It might be more useful than letting a computer handle it. I don't know though. Second day even riding this bike. First day of real testing it, so it's still too early to tell what's really going on. But uh, overall, I just love this bike, bro. I just love the way that I can jump on it, how it feels riding fast. It's so precise. It feels very controllable. 10 out of 10 so far. Digging it. Let's see, do we have time to cross here? Nope. All right, we are going to cross the street. Hit this little jump line going down and uh, figure out what we're doing from there. I missed this right here, sweat. That's something I don't get on my Suron. By the way, I still love the Suron. I still love all my electric bikes. You guys know in my heart, I ride bikes for real though. Anything with two wheels, motor or not, I'm on it. So uh, I, gotta, I gotta have everything. I have, a, I have to have time for everything, you know, to really, uh, to, uh, I don't even know what the hell I'm talking about. Let's go down this hill. Uh, okay, so we missed the light again. I'm wearing these shades and it's making my eyes blurry. So we're gonna toss them in the bag for now, even though I feel cool with them on. I just feel so great not wearing, look at this guy, moving. Yes, sir. <laughs> Homie was smashing. All right, let's see what this jump line's about. Got another e-scooter. Okay, nothing. My suspension's unlocked. Okay, that didn't work out at all. <laughs> it didn't work one bit. See a line that I want to hit. Oh, we made it. Manuals, work in progress. Yo, by the way, if you're still watching, make sure you leave a like if you want to see more content like this. Getting active in the streets on a real bike. Anyways, we're about to go uphill. So, let's see goes up. All right. Moving on to what may be our last ascent of the day. In the streets. Trying to gear up. And we're blocked. Oh no, we're good. Nice. I love that little jump. Always loved that on my BMX. Had to come back and do it. Oh my God. Okay. Sidewalk surfing. This bike is just too fast for it. It is too freaking fast for it. <laughs> that was a, you know, fight or flight reaction right there. You guys saw it of me. Good thing I've been doing this for a minute. Still a little too close for comfort. I don't like that. All right, so stuff that I love, having gears. That would take a lot longer to get used to shifting while riding around in the streets. Very natural. Uh, it's it's kind of like riding roadie. You just kind of know where you're supposed to be. Imagine if I put a single speed on this though. Imagine how bad I would get crucified. Ooh, that was a rim. <laughs> that one didn't feel that good. That I felt, I felt the rim all up and down on that one. Probably got to put more PSI on these tires to be doing stuff like that. Oh yeah, let me stop right where I started and get my thoughts. Okay, first day. First actual day, I want to say. I mean, I had a, the first day, but this was the first real day where I kind of tested both myself and the bike a little bit to see what it was capable of and what I'm capable of on it. Try and get my bearings on how it feels. All that good stuff. First thoughts. Bike is great. There's no denying that. I love the bike. Sorry, I'm covered in sweat. I just, we just finished a ride. Um, if I had to change anything, it might be the tires. I kind of think I'm going to keep these tires on for now. I haven't even taken it in the dirt yet. No lot of you guys are going to be like, take it down the trail, take it down the trail. That'll come. Trust me, it'll come. I need to get used to the bike first before I just send it. Because I know once I get in the dirt, I'm going to want to just send it. So it's going to take a little bit. Um, as far as the stuff that I don't like, it's very minor. The flight attendant is, eh, I just don't really think it's necessary for anything I'll be doing. It's definitely overkill. A lot of people said that, but I got it. So I'm keeping it on, obviously. Um, Brakes are amazing. Suspension feels great. A lot of people were saying this RockShox suspension is bad. I did my research and it seems like it's not. I think it's, it's fine. Pedals obviously got to get swapped. Other than that, I don't know. I think everything is pretty much solid. Seat, maybe. It's a really nice seat. Maybe I just have to get used to it. Bike is fine. It's not, I don't really have any complaints about the, the bike. I just need to get used to like riding it in a way that suits me. Plus, you know, 
when I actually take it out to the dirt. So yeah, that's my first thoughts on the Capra 6 Uncaged. Great bike. Had a lot of fun today on it. If you liked what you saw today, make sure you guys like this video. Subscribe if you're new to the channel as well. A lot more content coming up on this very special bike. Also, shout out to YT for the deal they gave me on the bike. Very cool of them to do. Discount retroactively. Big thanks to them. See you guys in the next video very soon. Peace out.